this is an appropriate week to look at Robert Frank's The Americans, I think. And this is a new exhibition that's on view at the Addison Gallery of American Art in Andover, which just reopened. Uh, by the way, the gallery is free. That's one of the things I love to share about that museum. Um, just make your appointment online. But they are one of only four museums in the country which own the entire series of Robert Frank's The Americans. This is a series that he did in 1955 and 1956. He had a Guggenheim Fellowship and he traveled throughout the country taking photographs. Uh, he was Swiss by birth, so he was considered a foreigner when he came here. So this is his exploration of his adopted country and how he saw it for better and for worse. He took about 27,000 photographs, whittled them down to just 83. And that's what we find in the photo book and then on view at the Addison. It's laid out just as you'll find in the book. I spoke with Alison Kemmerer. She's the curator of the show. She's also the interim director of the Addison. And she talks about what Robert Frank's perspective offers us. We're looking through the eyes of somebody who is detached, but fascinated and shows us things we either no longer see or maybe things we don't want to see. Like the extremes of this culture, the gaps between the haves and the have-nots, the discrimination, the racism, all of that lay beneath the surface of happy 1950s America. So Joe, that ties back into why I think this is a perfect moment to look at this show right now. Yeah. Uh, I think as this country is in this existential moment looking at itself, that is certainly what Robert Frank did. He, he was somebody who he wanted to move beyond the, the images you saw of America, the pristine Ansel Adam images or the pristine glowing images you would see in Life magazine and really show what this country is. And you, when you're in the Addison Gallery and you start to work your way through this show, it, it, it involves slow looking because he deliberately chose these photographs to be in a certain succession. So he's really telling a story. He actually considered the series a poem. It's mm. interrupted in stanzas by the American flag. You kind of reset as a lot Alison Kemmerer describes, and then you, you move on in another journey. And it is everything from you know champagne swilling um, to people marginalized and on the fringes of society in this country.